everyone, welcome back. I am Eli Schilling, Director of Product Management for Oracle Cloud, and this is part three of our video series, Networking in the Cloud. Uh, where did we, oh, there it is. Oh, let me just pull that back in. All right, so we've got our diagram from last time that we left off with, uh, our VCN, subnets, <laughs> gateways. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of a few of these gateways here. We don't need all of these for this scenario. Uh, we're gonna focus on internet gateway and our service gateway as it pertains to routing within our Oracle Cloud virtual cloud network. All right, so what we're gonna go ahead and do is introduce the concept of routing. Uh, we're gonna put a route table on each of our subnets here, and those route tables control the flow of traffic as it leaves the designated subnet. It's always uh, a relationship of one route table per subnet. However, you can assign the same route table to multiple subnets if they share similar traffic patterns. Now, uh, let's go ahead and zoom in, and we're going to focus on this uh, route table for our public subnet. We need to access the internet through our internet gateway. Thus, we have to tell this, this route table or define a route rule uh, that tells our traffic where to go to get out to the internet. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just fill in a rule here really quick. I'm just going to type, and we're going to put in the uh, target type. We're going to put in the destination CIDR, and we'll put in the internet gateway name. That's going to give us the information we need to be able to route from our uh, public subnet out to the internet. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the other uh, service gateway here. And what would we do if we needed to communicate from our private subnets out to something like object storage? Uh, so we'll go ahead and zoom in on the service gateway here uh, and the route table. And we're going to add a route rule to this route table that allows us to communicate from our private subnets to a service endpoint as opposed to a destination CIDR. So let's go ahead and type in the rules. We're gonna say destination here is a service instead of a CIDR. Uh, we're also gonna note that the destination service is OCI object storage. And then we're gonna define the gateway as the uh, service gateway we created earlier in the process. So we'll go ahead and put that in. We now have our three configuration points. We'll go ahead and put that in the route table, and we're gonna zoom back out to our full diagram. With that, you'll see that we can route traffic through the internet gateway from our public subnet to the internet, and through the service gateway from our private subnets out to our object storage service. So that, my friends, is how we construct traffic route rules within the Oracle Cloud. Uh, come back for the next video. We're gonna dig into the security module and talk a little bit about network security groups and security list rules.